Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will try to understand what is OBS. So we'll first we'll try to understand what is OBS. So OBS stands for yeah, organizational breakdown structure. It's called as organizational breakdown structure. What exactly is this? So it is nothing but let us say, I have, I have a company by name, Kamath Construction Company. Under me, there are many people who are working under that, who are under my construction company. For example, let us say I'm the MD of the company. Under that, I have four project manager, maybe one project manager for my North region, another project manager for my South region, another project manager for my West region, and another project manager for my East region. So under the North project manager, he has two engineers working under him. One is a senior site engineer and one more is a senior quality engineer. Same with the other three people. So this is called as organizational breakdown structure. That means my company have all these employees and this is how I'm going to break down. Got it? So it's called as organizational. You're breaking down that particular structure. So when you're working in a large organization, you have a, uh, let us say, MD of the company or the director of the company, okay, or a CEO of a company. Under that, you have a project manager. Uh, if it's a very big or organization, you have a project manager for the civil work, you have a project manager for a mechanical work, you have a project manager for a uh, electrical work. Under the project manager, you might be having a site manager, okay, senior site manager. Under the senior site manager, you might be having one senior engineer, civil, one senior engineer from the electrical, one senior engineer from the uh, mechanical. So this is how we are going to break down all those things. How do you do these things on the primer? I will try to see that. So understand what is exactly organizational breakdown structure. In the EPS, what we do in the enterprise project structure, we are breaking down the projects of that company. What all projects are there that we are breaking down in, in the EPS? In the organizational breakdown structure, we are breaking down the role of each and every person. Okay, great. So again, go to enterprise. Here, there is option called as OBS. That is organizational breakdown structure. Click on that. So by default, I've created few of them. Okay, no issues. I'll create it once again. Let me delete that and I'll create it once again. Okay. Yeah. So I'll bring it closer and I'll click on that and I'll say delete. Click on that, I'll delete it. Okay, let me delete it one by one. Okay, let me delete it like this. Fine. Okay. Uh, in your case, there might be some options here. A lot of options may come. No issue. Select each of them and you delete it from here. Now, let us say I'm the MD of a company or you can write your own name. Okay. MD is Akshay Kamal. So under me, I have four uh, project manager working in four different regions. So I'll add four times. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Good. So first I'll write the name. Uh, I'll write his name, project manager. Project manager, which region is a North region project manager, North region. Okay, a North region. And if you want, you can write his name also. Let us say his name is Amit. Okay, Amit. Fine. Next, we have another project manager. You just copy the same thing, control C, and just type here, just paste it here. And instead of North region, we'll change it to South region now. Make it to South region. And his name is uh, let us say Vinay. You can take any name, okay? So all these names, it will be available in your company. So a company will have its own uh, organizational breakdown structure. So those things you can take from the company. Uh, you can, if you ask the HR and all, they will give you all these things. Again, these things will be usually created by the HR and all, okay? But not an issue. We'll try to understand. Now, North is over, South is over. Next, you go for the West region. West region. So let me say we shall. Okay. And now we come last one. So East region. East region. Let us say Pratik. Got it? So I've got this thing project manager north, south, west, and east region. I've given their name also just to identify. Now, under the project manager in the north region, we have two engineers working. Let us say one is senior site engineer and we have a senior quality engineer. I'll click on this, I'll add two times. But what happened? It has not gone inside the project manager. No, click on this and take it to the right side. 
click on this and take it to the right side. What happened? Yeah, under the project manager of the North region, these two people are working. Now you will just write it here. Senior site engineer, senior site engineer, and we'll write his name as Gautam, okay? And here we have one more guy, senior quality, quality engineer, and his name is Shaker. Okay, great. Now again, same thing here also. In the south region, I'll add two times. I'll add, I'll, I'll make it inside this. I'll click and I'll make it inside this. You copy the same thing from here so that no, you'll just paste it and only the name you're supposed to change. Maybe in the south region, you have a different engineer for that under this project manager, you have a senior site engineer. And let us say his name is uh, Navin. And uh, his and here you copy the same thing. Double click, Control C. And here we name it to Bilal. Understood the concept? No, same thing. Again, add two times. Uh, I'll just copy the same thing. Senior quality engineer. Uh, I'll write name as uh, Harshit. And here I'll copy the same thing. Control C and write it here and write Nagraj. Okay. Yeah. But my senior site engineer uh, should come at the top. No, no issues. We know. Select on that. Take it to the top. Right. Last another two names I need to add. So again, we'll copy and paste it. Senior site engineer. Let us say Reagan. Okay. And here, uh, senior quality engineer. Control C. I'll write one name, Edwin. Okay, great. Done, right? Okay, you have to indent it. No, you have to take it inside. Click and take it inside. That's it. What happened now? Everything we have done. Uh, our MD, Akshay Kamath, under that, we have project manager in the North region. We have project manager for the South region. We have a project manager for the West region. We have a project manager for the East region. I have written their name also. Now, under him, we have senior site engineer, senior quality engineer. So this way I've done the organizational breakdown structure. It's a small organizational breakdown structure I've done. Tomorrow you may work in a large project where you have project manager for the North region. In the project manager for the North region, I'll write it here. You may have a project manager and it's for the North region. North region, okay, great. But under him, you have another, let us say, three engineer. You have a site manager. We have site manager. He is for the civil. And then you have site manager. Manager for mechanical. And then you have a site manager for electrical. This also can happen, OK? Right now, I didn't do that bit, but you know how to do that electrical, right? Just you have to add another three column and then you indent it inside the project manager. Now in the site manager in the civil, we have two people. That is one is senior site engineer. Okay, senior site engineer, civil, any of it's known. Then we have senior quality engineer. Then there may be a chance you may put another one guy who is a, a senior uh, supervisor. Anything is fine. Depends on your company organization breakdown structure. Understood the concept? No. Same thing under mechanical. Mechanical. Yeah. Same thing under the site manager mechanical you have. Under the electrical also you have. If I copy the same thing, copy control C, I'll put it here. Yeah. Okay, done. this is fine. And here also, let me put that. Yeah, great. Done, no? So understood? This is how the breakdown will happen. So you know how to do all these things, right? Very simple. Project manager under the North region. We have site manager civil, site manager mechanical, site manager electrical. Only for North I've done. Similarly, for the South, you will have. West region, East region, you will have. So it depends on that. Okay, so that is how you're supposed to take care of all these things. But again, uh, these things will be usually done by the HR people. Those who have access to the Prima Vira, uh, those people will uh, be doing all these things. 
so when you're working as a planning engineer uh, you need not do this and the eps both will be done by those people but yeah sometime if they are not doing maybe you're working in a company where these things are supposed to be uh, inputted by you then you should know how it has to be done so project manager is done site manager is done site manager electrical is done so this is how you're supposed to create now whichever projects is going on let us say there is one project which is going on in the north region so what i'll do i'll assign the project manager as a responsible now one more question why this has to be done suppose if something happens tomorrow not something happens i'll close this i'll close tomorrow let us say there's a project going on in the north region so who is responsible for that project in the north region yeah the project manager of the north region is responsible any communication if you're supposed to do so we'll do the communication with that so this will help us to channelize the communication it will help us to properly do the work on the site or maybe your communication will be very clear right yeah so in that particular project in in the north region you have three projects going on okay so maybe in the project number one who is responsible of course north region this guy is responsible but in north region for the project number one okay maybe the senior site engineer is responsible for that so this way we are going to assign the resp uh, responsibility and all so that uh, there is no problem at all understood the concept no so this is how the organizational breakdown structure is to be done so so far we understood how to create eps we understood how to create obs organizational breakdown structure we understood the entire user interface we also understood how to make certain changes how to change the font and all so basic understanding is clear clear from the next lecture onwards we'll try to get into the primavera concepts we'll try to see how to set up the calendar uh, what is a work week all those things we'll try to see from the upcoming lectures so try to practice up to here the same organizational breakdown structure you try you can try to create on your own so that you have a, a very good understanding on this it's very simple only the thing is you should know where to put what under whom what will come and how to indent that that is a, a forward arrow mark and backward arrow mark top and bottom if you know you can easily fix all those things got it yeah so try to practice up to here and i'll see you back in the next lecture thank you